Hi, inventors. I'm Lily, the twirling tech goddess. I'm black, I dance, I'm queer, and I'm an engineer. Welcome to The Twerk Shop, a show that explicitly encourages radical diversity and inclusion by making the process of learning tech more fun, accessible, and relatable to people underrepresented in STEM. Each week, you'll come along with me as I create something fabulous using cutting edge tools and technologies. Then I'll put it through my patented twirl test to make sure that it's stage ready. That's right, we twirl with our tech because you know what they say, the family that slays together increases their socioeconomic status together. On this episode, we're going to be getting our club on by making a garment that's covered in LED lights. But these aren't just any ordinary LEDs. These lights change color in response to music using one of the most nifty tools in tech, the microcontroller. I'll introduce you to the different hardware components that we'll be using and walk you through the Arduino Uno software. But first, a little backstory. So back in the day, I was between figure skating contracts, which was usually in the summer because we would tour all winter long. I got the bug to go to Ibiza and perform at some of the clubs there. This was back when Ibiza was in all of the music videos and everyone was talking about partying there and blah, blah, blah. I did a bunch of research and preparation before booking my flight and packing a bunch of my things to leave. And that was when I came across this video of some guy in this club in Ibiza and had a fully functional armored suit on that was lined with LED lights and he was on stilts. Then I click on another video that I found of the same guy, but this time his suit had fog cannon shooting out of his hands and while on stilts as well. Back then, I didn't have anything that fancy, so I kind of chickened out of going. I was dating this German guy at the time and he convinced me not to go. He said that he knew dancers who had a horrible experience and that I'd be underpaid, especially if I didn't have anything as fancy as the guy with the LED armor and fog cannons. So needless to say, we broke up eventually. He wasn't for me, but he was cute. Comment below if you've ever let a cute person talk you out of doing something you really wanted to do. Anyway, <laughs> so here we are quite a few years later, and I think I'm finally gonna have that head-to-toe LED light outfit that I've always dreamed of, except my version will respond to the beat of the music being played at the time, which can be super handy in a club setting where the music continually changes and the DJ is continually changing the mood and the vibe continues to go up and down. So let's get started. For this specific project, I was inspired by the song Kill the Lights by my girl Alex Newell. Shout out to Alex, we stand. <laughs> I know some of you may be wondering what the f is an Arduino. <laughs> Arduino is an open source hardware and software company, project and user community that designs and manufactures single board microcontrollers and microcontroller kits for building digital devices. Shout out to Marietta West as well for the hardware and software that we'll be using for this project when she heard about this vlog. She was quick to jump on board. She's an amazing engineer. Be sure to go over right now and follow her on all of her socials and also visit her website. Thanks Marietta West, we stand. For the hardware portion of this video, I'm just gonna quickly show you what the setup looks like on the hardware and I'll link below where you can find all of those components. I do a deeper dive into the hardware component capabilities of Arduino Uno in another video where I'll be showing you how to make a garment that alerts you when you're slouching. Today, however, I'd like to walk you through the code for programming the lights to be sound responsive. We shouting out a lot of people today. The components for this project can be found in a number of places, but for the majority of them, I've decided to get most of them from Adafruit, which is founded by a brilliant female engineer. Shout out to Lady Ada. We stand. For the hardware components we'll be using for this project, we'll need a mini breadboard, jumper wires, a soldering iron kit, a microcontroller. For this project, we'll use the Qduino Mini, an audio analyzer module. This one was custom designed by Marietta using the MSGEQ77 band graphic equalizer chip. This enables your Arduino with the capability of splitting a stereo audio input into seven bands per channel. You can then read the amplitude of each channel using the ABC on your Arduino, allowing you to control everything from LEDs to motors to pumps to relays or even fire, all with sound. With this piece, you'll be able to have almost any project be able to react to sound or music. 
I'll link a similar audio product to the one that Marietta made for me down below. We're also gonna need a MEMS microphone, addressable LEDs, and a lithium ion battery. Links to all of these will be in the description. For this project's LEDs, we're gonna be going with NeoPixel LEDs. As stated on Adafruit's website, the NeoPixel is the latest advance in the quest for a simple, scalable, and affordable full-color LED. Red, green, and blue LEDs are integrated alongside a driver chip into a tiny surface mount package controlled through a single wire. Not all addressable LEDs are NeoPixel LEDs, though. NeoPixel are individually addressable RGB color pixels and strips. They don't just light up on their own, though. They require a microcontroller, such as Arduino, and some programming. To create our own effects and animation, you'll need some programming practice, which we're gonna give you today. But also, feel free to work through some of the beginning Arduino tutorials on their website to get a feel for the language. First, let's assemble the hardware. We're gonna cut a 13 light piece from the LED strip. You're gonna cut along this line. Don't cut anywhere else or you'll f it up. Then we're gonna rip the tips off of three jumper cables. And then we're gonna solder those three prongs onto the three foil tips on the edge of the 13 light strip. That way you'll be able to stick it into your breadboard for programming. Back to you, Bob. The basic setup is AO of the microcontroller to out on the audio analyzer, D6 on the microcontroller to DO on the LEDs, ground on the microcontroller to minus on the breadboard, VCC on the microcontroller to plus on the breadboard, D4 on the microcontroller to strode on the audio analyzer, D3 on the microcontroller to reset on the audio analyzer. Ground on the audio analyzer to minus on the breadboard. VCC on audio analyzer to plus on the breadboard. 5V on the LEDs to plus on the breadboard. Ground on the LEDs to minus on the breadboard. And then you wanna align the three free prongs on the audio analyzer with the three prongs on the MEMS microphone. Now let's talk about the software download and programming. One, power up the Arduino by connecting it with your computer. Two, go to the Arduino website, download the software here. When you open it, you see the Arduino's IDE. That allows you to write your program code. Three, you're gonna cut and paste this code and insert it. Next, we're gonna walk through the code and explain what it means. First, we include our Adafruit NeoPixel component file, and then we define all of our variables that we'll be using in our code. We declare our pixels per band array. It has a length of seven, and we assign each index of that array to one of the band pixels variables. We declare our pixel nums per band 2D array. It has a length of seven and a depth of three, and we'll fill that with the number zero through 12, which represent the 13 lights on our strip of LEDs. We declare our pixel color per band 2D array. It's also got a length of seven and a depth of three, and we fill that with the specific RGB numbers of the colors that we'll want. We declare the Adafruit Neo Pixel Pixels code. This is mandatory, just copy and paste it. Then we'll declare our out, strobe, and reset variables. We use this line of code to store each of the seven peaks detected in each frequency band into an array. This is our setup function. Every program is gonna need one of these. First, we'll initialize the NeoPixel library. Then we'll enable the strobe and give input and output details. This is gonna be our loop function. This is what allows the program to run continuously. Not every program will need a loop function, but most of them do operate using one. 
Inside this function, we're gonna reset the length of the pulse, reset the strobe, loop continually through the band, enable the output, set the output settling time, set the delays, loop through the number of colors, loop through the RGB color array, and then show those colors in a specific loop of the strobe that is enabled on the LED strip at that specific time. Four, press the upload button in the top left of the screen and wait for the terminal window at the bottom to read done. Five, now your Arduino should have the code on it. Test the functionality by singing a little jingle to the Arduino. Before we start building, we'll need our handy dandy essentials. An old little black dress that you don't wear anymore. Hashtag repurpose, hashtag upcycle. Fabric scraps for a pouch. Your trusty scissors. Glue gun. E6000 or super glue. First, we're gonna cut and hot glue this little pouch out of these scraps, and that'll house the Arduino, the breadboard, and the portable power bank. Then we're gonna hot glue that pouch into an area of the shirt, dress, or garment that we don't mind the bulk being. I'm thinking the upper back. Then we're just gonna super glue or E6000 the LED strips all over the garment in whatever pattern you want. I don't wanna use hot glue because then the circuits could die and possibly kill the entire strip of lights. No, thank you. Now let's get started. So when we're thinking about brainstorming ideas, you wanna think about what kinds of patterns you should do, the outline, the fill-in, the negative space, the positive space, do you boo, woo! Tag me in your creations, and remember, creativity is innovation. It just dawned on me the other day. Bad is innovate, period. Now, I don't take shots in the dark when it comes to wearables, so I'm gonna put these lights to the test and make sure that they can light the way while keeping the rhythm. So I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll see you in the cave. You better like, you better subscribe, and you better turn on those post notifications. And remember, never let anyone dampen your light. This program was made possible by Solid State Depot, a local makerspace in Boulder, Colorado.